Talk Long, episode number 28. I'm John Conger. I'm Tony Ruka. And I'm Brian Hoffman. Talk Long is proudly bringing you the latest updates from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates on the largest bowling and retail site, BowlingBall.com. All right. Back at Gruber Creek Lanes? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to show, uh, we've had some requests to see the back part of the lanes. Uh, so today we're going to take you down back, explain some of the parts. Uh, we're not going to explain some of the parts. We have somebody who doesn't know he's going to do it. Yet. Our mystery <laughs> guest will explain special, some of the some of the parts. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> he's, he's just now realizing as we talk about it. We'll give you a little behind the scenes look at uh, what goes on behind the lanes. So most people will get to see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll do that, and uh, we're doing a few ball tests today here. So check out our videos. But first, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> This episode of Talk Bowling brought to you by VirtualTournaments.com, bringing you bowling tournaments without the hassle. Virtual Tournaments has a new look to their website, additional tournament levels, and are now introducing youth tournaments where youth bowlers can earn scholarship money for college. Check them out at VirtualTournaments.com. And thank you to Brookstone, America's number one retailer for electronics, home goods, outdoor living, and much more. Check them out at Brookstone.com and use promo code SHOWBOWL during checkout to save 10% off your order. Some restrictions apply. See site for details. Help support us by supporting our sponsors. All right, so today we're going to be talking about what kind of machine are these? These are the Brunswick A2. And we have the sweep. This is what takes the pins off the, the pin deck. You have your pin setters up here. All the pins get loaded into here from the turret. a little bit backwards, the pins will come up this elevator, they'll get dropped into the turret, the turret spins around, <laughs> loads all the pins. And oh, I am the monster that gets under the lanes! <laughs> <laughs> and you come down around the back, you have the, this is a pinwheel. The pins get swept back in here and they come on the shaker board. This board here, the board shakes and it pulls all the pins down into the pinwheel. And it pins, takes the pins up to the top and it gets up into the elevator. Uh, this wheel back here, this is the ball wheel. The ball comes back into here. It gets on this wheel and it brings it up this chute and it takes it down to the ball return. Gosh, you know, something like that, what would cause a ball return when we have to call that in? Have uh, a mechanic sometimes fix that? A, a pin and a, the ball will get jammed together down here in the bottom. Uh, that's most of the problem. Sometimes a pin will get caught up in here, so then when the ball comes up, the pin is there and then the, the wheel keeps spinning, but the ball won't come up because the, the pin is jammed in there, keeping the ball from going into the, the ball return. Okay. <clears throat> and that's about the basics of it. Got the motor. This is a motor that runs there. This is the, the heart of the machine. This turns the pinwheel, the ball wheel, and also the elevator. Uh, sometimes when you get a uh, out of range, it's basically the pin is off spot, and then when the deck comes down, the deck is sitting on top of the pin, which won't allow the machine to go down. And when that happens, the machine will automatically turn off, it'll go into a blackout mode. Then you come back here and you uh, turn the machine on, get the pin out, and let it cycle, and re spot the pin. Uh, 180s are usually a pin will come up the elevator. It'll get up to the top of the elevator, and when it goes down into that turret, it won't go in uh, properly or it'll hold up. And these wheels here, these are little actuators to let you know that the pin has gone through. And that tells you that the a pin will get stopped here, and then it, it'll be a 180. It won't, uh, it won't cycle because there won't be any pins in the, uh, in the pin deck. Gotcha.
enjoyed the tour of the uh, the back there. Kind of interesting. Yeah, it's good stuff. We'll try to bring you some more cool stuff that you don't get to see normally from Goober Creek Plains. Okay. All right. The answer to the question from last episode, right? Question from last episode. A uh, little refresher. Refresher. The question from last week was. How many frames has somebody gone an entire season uh, without opening? Was the most consecutive frame someone's gone a season without an open frame? It wasn't an entire season. It wasn't an entire season. Oh, right. <laughs> and the answer is? Da -da, 244 frames. Merrill Weaver of Columbus, Ohio. Merrill Weaver, congratulations. Right. Probably dead now, I'm assuming. Probably, I'm going to have to assume. <laughs> but this, was, this feat was accomplished May 23rd through July 25th, 1944. Oh, that's a couple days ago. Yeah. How about you? That's what you said last time. Yeah. That's my AKA. Mirror <laughs> I, I think I got up to 12 months. Yeah. That was, yeah. You get a patch for that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a question this week. All right. This week's question is, what bowler has left the most splits in a sanctioned league season? So, how many splits do you think someone's left? In Are we looking for season? the bowler or how many? How many? Look for the bowler and how many. Wait, the bowler and how many? Sorry, yeah, that's, that's what we're looking for. Making it difficult. I know it's a lot. It's hard to ask for, but it is. Same thing again. Should have cut the AC down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little, little warm in here. Uh, by the way, check out our new Bully Willa Tom mock mix. Nice. I mean, three colors black, white, crimson, crimson red. Crimson, crimson yeah. red, that's right. So check that out. We'll give you a little zoom in of my. Chest <laughs> 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 All right, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll bring in more next week, or yeah. next Peace. episode. Yeah. Peace. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Right. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you have to trust that you're in shot. All right. Can you get Hello, welcome to Talk Volume episode number 28. I'm John Conner. I'm Tony Rico. And I'm Ryan Hoffman. Talk Volume is proud to bring you the latest updates from the volume industry. <laughs> Let's turn that off. There you go. Thanks. I was honored.